My name is Brian Mayer. I'm an attorney practicing throughout Southern California. And the question that I'm answering today is what is due process and when is due process violated? Due process is a phrase that a lot of us have heard, but we don't really know what it means. And what due process is, is two things. It's notice and the right to be heard. Now, when you go to court, you should receive service of some sort. If someone pulls you into court, you'll uh, have a process server knock on your door and hand you some documents. And those documents may be a complaint or a petition, and they describe uh, what it is that you're being sued for, uh, where the hearing is being heard, um, when, the names of the parties who are suing you. And so all of these things are part of that notice component of due process. If you're not given uh, advance notice of of, uh, of a hearing of this nature and the court is able to move forward or uh, without you having ample ch chance to uh, prepare and uh, to appear for your, ch for your side to be heard, then you can say you've been denied due process. Um, the other side is the chance to be heard. You can receive the notice, but if you show up at the court and the judge just doesn't listen to you. You don't get a chance to speak. You don't, you're not allowed to file anything. You just go and you listen to the other side explain why some sort of action should be taken against you. Uh, that would also be a denial of due process because even though you've received the notice, you've not had the chance to be heard. So due process requires those two things. One of the common questions related to due process is when the person who's been called into court has made some sort of mistake on their own. And so, for example, they've received uh, they've received a copy of the document. They know they're being sued. They know when they're supposed to go to court, and they uh, they make a mistake. They they forget about the court date. They show up late. Um, they show up at the wrong court. They make some sort of, there's some sort of mistake on their side of things, so that uh, when the court decision comes, uh, the court they're not there and the court makes the decision without them. Denial of due, no, the denial of due, the, the, the denial of due process does not mean that you don't get heard. What it means is you don't have the chance to be heard. So if you've received notice and for any reason you just don't show up, whether it's deliberate, whether it's due to circumstances beyond your control, but whatever the reason, just simply Having notice but then not showing up and not being able to hurt for that reason is not a denial of due process. Uh, it may be a mistake. It may be a cause for uh, any judgment to be vacated. Uh, it may be cause for an appeal or a rehearing, but it's not uh, a cause. It's not uh, a denial of due process. So. Again, my name is Brian Mayer. I am practicing family law throughout Southern California, and I hope that this was helpful.